tribe, welcome to the HGDC HD Designs Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host, and this is my channel all about crochet, knitting, and a general yarny life. If you are a returning viewer, hi and welcome back. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. Um, don't forget to press subscribe and enjoy this time with the tribe. We are so very close to 500 subscribers and I think when this goes out we will have hit it. Um, subscriber giveaways will be coming, spoiler alert. I want to do a giveaway for 500 subscribers. I'm going to Yarndale at the end of September and, and I'm going to pick up your goodies. So stay tuned for that. Um, there's also going to be a Patreon giveaway, of course. So if you are a Patreon and a subscriber on YouTube, you could win twice. Okay, today is Flash My Stash. We are gonna get up close and personal with this tower of yarn and my project bags, as I do need to add some stashes that are just here off camera into there. So a good time to bring you along and show you what's going on in these tubs. Um, I think today the lighting might be a little bit off. It's so grey outside, like steely, beautiful grey, misty, atmospheric, but not great for filming. So I think I'm gonna have to invest in lighting. Oh, the joys of podcasting, there's so much to learn. Okay, so let's get started. Podcast on, let's get through this yarn. My yarn stash lives in these clear tubs, as you've all seen behind me in my vlogs. Um, the tower has got bigger since I moved in here in November. When I first started, we only had about mm, that much maybe. And now, if I even pan out far enough, <laughs> can't get it all in. I store my yarn in these tubs. I have my back against the far wall in this room and I can't get the whole shot in. So starting at the bottom, in this tub, we have Aran weight. Now don't worry, I'm gonna go into every single tub. I'm just giving you an overview. So we have miscellaneous Aran weight in here. As you can see, what I do like about having clear tubs is I can immediately see where my stash is, um, but it's kept away from moths. In here, we've got DK. The majority of my stash is DK. We've got all the greys and all the blues um, and the greens in here. Next up, more DK. I have got all of my reds and my purples. Um, there is also some cotton yellow in there that is DK, but it doesn't fit in the yellow tub. This is the white and yellow DK tub. Next up is miscellaneous overflow. It's got some DK um, hidden in here, but that's four ply. It's got a project shoved in there. And then this is Aaron sort of an overflow, it doesn't fit in the other tubs and I needed another tub so that it would fit um, at some point I'll rejig it, maybe today and then on top that tub there is sock yarn and that's my minis so we are going to delve into this and also all of the stash that I've got hidden which I wasn't going to show you but yarn there all of that is yarn, project bags, new yarn, 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 <sighs> and there's more. Okay, let's get started. So the first tub in the stack is of my minis. At the moment, the dishcloths that I started making are also living here. Um, so they need a project bag and a home. 
this tub is full of my mini skeins. It needs swap into one with a lid because these are actually, some of them have wool in so they need protecting. A lot of these minis I have gathered um, whilst I was doing my sock box subscriptions. If you go back to some of my very early videos or click the link wherever it's appearing or in the drop box, I did sock box subscriptions and you got a mini skein with every single one. And so a couple of these have come from those kits, um, which is great and I just can't wait to use them up. Then the majority of them, a few I brought for myself around New Year um, this year, so January 2018, because I wanted to make socks and I was just generally really intrigued in these goodies. Um, I really wanted to start a collection of hand dyed sock yarn and minis make it more affordable. They're sort of £3 to £5 a skein depending on where you buy them. Um, and then the bulk of these came from Yarndale which I went to in March um, 2018 so this year and I absolutely loved it and the majority of my haul was mini skeins and at the time they were going to become a blanket similar to maybe one of the ones that Sandra Cherry Hearts made at the Battenberg um, where you've got the coloured square so one of these and then you'd have a cream and you'd carry on making squares now I don't know about that because I have so many blankets if you've seen my blanket stack video you will know that and um, if not check it out after I don't need any more blankets and this yarn is so like decadent indulgent and Darcy's just gonna put his butt on it aren't you Darcy so I don't really want my very, very expensive blanket to have dog hair all over it, but equally, if I'm going to be using it, it will be near him. So that brings me to maybe this should go in a garment. And let me show you the level of colour we are working with. And then you can throw ideas at me. So these are my mini skeins so far. They are all pinks and purples, bar that bright turquoise there. Um, let me show you a few of them. We've got Mothy and the Squid, and this is the Heather range, so you know why I picked that up. Absolutely beautiful, and that's the Mothy and Squid tag. I picked that up at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. I beelined for that. That was in my pre plan I knew I wanted this. Um, I got quite a few uh, from Martin's Lab. And um, that's a neon, neon pink. And that's his tag. Never seen them before. They are from Europe somewhere. And I wanted to take advantage and not have to pay um, postage. So I picked up five of his. And helpfully one of the tags has come off <laughs> so it was at the bottom somewhere which one would it have been maybe that one so I got the neon pink um, which is called hot fuchsia I got zinnia which is sort of an orangey coral um, it's got this slight autumn speckling in there. Then I got this one, Acres Wish, which is pinks, moody dusky pinks, right up my street. This one was grey with a pink and turquoise speckle. Um, because when this was going to be a blanket, I wanted it to sort of really blend out well, and I I did think from this grey square around it could be a bright pink square and maybe a turquoise square. See how I'm working that? But obviously now I'm not sure I want it to be a blanket. So this could be an amazing pair of socks. I have Diddy Feet, size UK 4. So I will only need to use 
50 grams for a pair of socks um, and these are 20 gram minis so that there could be an entire pair of socks with scraps um, so what do we reckon I just feel like these need a really special purpose because they are a lot more expensive than the yarn I usually buy um, so yeah I'm definitely holding on to these these go in that yarn category of too special to use we've all got that yarn um, then I have got more from Yarn Dale. So the Sleek It Hair. I picked this one up because it was made in Scotland and as I was in Scotland I wanted Scottish yarn. It's grey with this pink. Um, and what I love is because they're all hand dyed, they all have different textures, slightly different bases, even though they're all four ply. Um, then I got, this is another moth in squid, it's called a Violet Spotted Reef Lobster. All the colour, all the colour. Um, I've got some river knits in here, which I adore and I've got a few of those. They're just really good solids to go in um, because a lot of these are very like tonal, gradient, stripey, there's no stripes, speckled. And then I did a really, I ordered some around Christmas time. Look at these. So yes, go check them out. So that's my mini skeins. Too precious to use at the moment. They are waiting for the right project. Um, maybe once I've really mastered socks and my own patterns, there might become some so yes but look at all that beautiful colour <laughs> okay on to more sock yarn tub number two is my sock yarn tub um, I could do with putting my minis in a tub like this that has a lid so I must remember that when I next go to Wilkinson's the tubs also hold quite a lot of project bags from abandoned whips so I started making this cardigan for a friend's daughter who would have vastly outgrown it by now but that's in there it just needs its end sewing in and some buttons putting on and blocking so I'm going to create a rejected whip pile down on the floor from to get a new home these socks were my January blues. <laughs> Started in January with all my leftover blues to reflect my mood. They have never been worn. They just need the end sewing in. And then I can wear them ready for this winter. Also the only pair of socks I've made myself this year. Then we have got a sock that I cast on myself using this gorgeous yarn it's a speckle gold well speckle yellow gold from mm, 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 mm. homespun wonders this is the second lot of yarn i've got from her um and i started making a pair of socks and i know why i've abandoned these i did the pattern wrong i was making up my own pattern and so they need ripping back I've got some toes and a tiny bit of patterning with my stitch marker that says dream that I made myself and a Buddha and Darcy's now walking around do do go to bed go to bed um this project bag was made by Isabel. She is the English lady spinner on Instagram, Facebook, and I have a new one by her, which I'll show you when it gets to the right tub. This has got another abandoned pair of socks in it, which is made from DK actually. I did these cuffed down one at a time using this rose blush DK from a pound shop. The second one's in here. And the only thing it needs is the toe kitchening, which I don't really want to do. 
because it seems a lot of hard work. But maybe now that winter's coming, I should find the pattern I was using. I think I was using the Winniewick Mum eight ply pattern and get those finished because that's another pair of socks that can be on my feet. Right, to the actual yarn. Oh goodness. Well, I've got a mini in here from River Knits which came from my Christmas subscription box that I did. Oh. It's gonna be one of those vlogs where I drop everything. I love that green. Um, that can go in with the minis now. Right, where to start? I've got leftover yarns in here. So this is Truly Hooked. I picked it up a couple years ago when she came to, it might have been Nampanton in Leicester and it was in the sale bin and I picked it up and got it for Christmas. Oh look, here's all my stitch markers. I've been looking for them. I've got some Drops Delight, which I haven't got around to using. I kind of feel like that needs to be in like a shawl or a scarf, something wearable, not just socks. Um, I've got more abandoned socks. Um, this was a Knit Picks, I think. Then this is all Drops Fable. That's Grundle Hot Socks, Knits Fable. That was a commercial yarn I bought at Christmas and made Christmas socks from. Um, it's either Grundle or Knits Fable. This made my purple tiger socks and there's loads left so I could make some sort of scrap yarn blanket. But I've got so many blankets I want it to go in a garment. And I brought a lot of plain dropped fable. That's just going to blow out regardless. There we go. Um, the reason being because I wanted to dye it, but it actually started to become my jumper, the drops jumper. Um, but I might make a pair of socks and dye it. I only need one ball to make a pair of socks. So that is a very quick blast through of my sock yarn. Box number three. You can see the stash is starting to go down. This is my overflow at the moment. It's got the extra Aran and DK that I've amassed that doesn't fit in its colour coordinating tubs. So I picked this up not long ago to make a jumper out of and it's a really light, light khaki. Um, it's showing up a little bit more brown on there but it, it's a very pale khaki green. Um, I want to make a jumper out of that so I got 400 grams. I've got, this was the fringing for the boho cardi that I made and it's just ended up in there. Then I've got a lot of this gold, which I'm going its project bag. Um, I started making my Tempe jumper out of that. Oops, in here is all fibre to be spun, but I'm not a spinner. I've got a drop spindle, but I'm just. I'm just not a spinner. I want to give my time to crochet and knitting and I don't have the time to spin it before I then can crochet and knit it. So maybe that needs to be a giveaway and given to somebody that will make proper use of it. I don't know. Um, this chunky, not chunky, Tweed Aran. It got from Pound, the Pound shop that was shutting down. Um, it should have been two pound. I think it cost me like a pound or something. And as I already had some, I decided to go get like six balls of it so I've got over a kilo of that so there's definitely going to be some tweed jumpers coming this year more of this gold I bought 400 grams and then sent my grandma back and I've got 800 grams of that this was sent to me by Tyrion and I've got a baroche baroche I learned how to say that word pattern in mind for that Leftover Aaron from my 
boho cardi which i also did my oversized eat me jumper in um this you haven't seen my grandma gifted me this it's on a comb because it was for machine knitting and it's a four ply blue yarn um she she suggested that i make my droplet eyelet jumper out of it i'm undecided that's quite a bright blue and then at the bottom in here i've got aaron and this aaron is um been brought and paid for by my brother to make him an arty cardigan bro i need your measurements um i don't even know if he watches these anymore but i need them i've got two balls of that 800 grams to make him one he's like around six foot so it is is it's going to eat the yarn but whatever's left you know i'll put into another project so that's the overflow at the moment um that pink was left over from the summer dusk shawl I think I've got enough there to possibly make my niece um, a version of Artie's Cardi. So that's what that's waiting in here for. <sighs> I need to rejig some of this. And once I have, I might be able to get some of this Aaron down in the bottom one. This is going to go in with the greens in a minute. Um, these two are on hold for the project I've just spoken about. These need to go in the project bag that I'm working on the jumper on. So I might be able to smoosh some of this around. But don't worry because there's so much over there waiting to go in its place. So that's tub number three. <coughs> tub number four is my DK weights. Majority of my DK. As I say that, that's Aaron. This whole tub's going to blow out horribly because of the light. Um, in my more neutrals and yellows. I have quite a lot of this that I started making a jumper out of. Okay. There's another abandoned knit cloth in here. Uh, where did I put those? In that one. Right. So... That is just a lot of neutral Aaron. It's not even going to show up. Oh. This is an abandoned project. Um, that I'm going to revive. That's my Christmas tree jumper design. Which. I really like. And that just needs reworking into a wearable jumper. I started that last Christmas, um, and that's when I was really gearing up to be to wanting to really step into a crochet design role, um, and I wanted to make my own ugly Christmas sweater. So, but don't worry, that is in my design plans for this season. I'm just gonna have to crack on to get it out to you in time. Plenty of wool warehouse and love crochet organza bags. So this is just all my yellows. That's a glitter white. Glitter, glitter. That's cream. That actually belongs to the Lark's Foot blanket, as does this. Yes, it does. Um, all my baby yellows. All the neutrals. Um a corner to corner blanket that I started that isn't going to get finished I think my mum wanted that yarn anyway come on um, I like corner to corner but it's it's I like it I enjoy the fad I, I get the fad but uh, I haven't really made anything out of it this is my baby merino that I have just completely mashed in here. Not good. Um, that's mohair. It's 100% acrylic, but it, it looks like mohair and it's so fluffy. Um, so I might have to hold that with some 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 project. Um, my grandma bought that ages ago, and that's why it's in a paper bag. 
Um, yeah, so all my neutrals, all the yellows. Um, not a tub that gets a whole load of use, but it is very well stocked. Um, DK is my thing and I use a lot of it. And it's always good to just dip in here. These colours do get mixed into my pro my projects, but it's the next tub, the pinks and the reds and the purples, they get a lot, a lot of use. So let's get on to the next one. Tub number five is ginormous. It's not staying on me. It's massive. Okay, I'm putting it down. This is the tub that gets the most use, which is kind of frustrating because it lives in the middle. <laughs> so I have to hike all of them down. In here, abandoned project alert is the just because blanket squares. I'm so undecided on these because, as I've said, I don't need another blanket. Um, so do I just put them together? I honestly don't know what to do with them I mean they're pretty much done um, and I did order some more of this candy floss pink um, and I've used it in a whole bunch of other projects but I know where I can get some more there's a local yarn stockist that has uh, Stylecraft yarn Do I just make it into a blanket? I made it purely girly pink because at the time I wanted a blanket just for me, just because. But now I'm not really in that headspace of the full on girly pink. My room is more gonna be all black everything, which is true to me, with pops of colour. So it would still fit in. And then I thought oh, I could gift it to um, a little girl. Honestly, I don't know what to do with them. So they're just sat in here at the moment. But these are all the squares edged in candy floss pink alone. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I could probably make one more, have twelve, um, and do a decent size kitty blanket. Oh, brainwave. I know exactly where this is going. Yes. Well, that has sorted that one out then. I know exactly where that's going. This is going to get finished, guys. Right. So the Just Because blanket is going to be repurposed and gifted hopefully in the next week or so let's crack on with that thanks for sorting that out okay in this tub i've got some half kidston yarns that used to be in the tins um i've got this bright pink which is to finish the lot's foot blanket i've got some dropped cotton yarn which I think is DK. You know, I'm not 100% sure if that's DK or if it's four ply. It calls for a three mil needle, which is a US 2.5. Um, and that seems quite thin, so maybe it's four ply. But I brought this yarn to make a summer crochet top. And now I'm all about autumn. All about winter and then in here I've got some rowan which is started to unravel no oh dear I bought some really nice rowan pure DK 50 gram balls a long time ago and I got one in yellow pink and blue and I didn't know what I wanted to do with them I just wanted to splash out on some really what I thought at the time was nice yarn because all I knew was yarn in, in like John Lewis and they've never been used. Like I brought these back in 2011, 2012. So whether you can even get them anymore, I highly doubt. So I've got 150 grams of pure wool DK in three colours I need to make a project out of that are so bright. I've got like um, 
a navy and a mustard yellow. Any ideas? Neither do I. Then there's, let's just pick this up again. In here is all of the random one skeins that I've got, some neon, that purple Aran, I don't really like, and I already gifted one ball, so I might gift away the other one to somebody who will make some projects for charity. Um, there's some bright neons that's not even showing up. There we go. That tub is usually a lot fuller, but I took out a lot of my partial skeins, which are now residing in project bags for Enamoured and the Granny Stripe version. Once they're done, those balls will go back into there and that will be back at max capacity. And I've just figured out who I'm making that blanket for, which... Um, now I just need to work out. There's already a lot of very baby pink, but there's also some really nice bright coloured squares that I'd like to use in there. I'll take them out. Um... So what I might do is nip to the yarn shop and get a really bright pink that I can put this together with and then, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then use six of the pink. Um, if I pick the ones with the brighter centers, one, Two, three, four. Hmm. If I make like another two that are quite bright in the centre like that, then I think I can really merge this lot together and make a blanket. Yes! I have a birthday coming up in September and I wasn't sure what to make and that has just fulfilled that little yes. Okay, so in that tub we've got all of the pinks, the just because squares, um, and it's waiting for a lot more to go in. I then am going to go on to the next tub, which is the greys and the blues, but just to breach, just to breach, just to straddle that, I did make a new yarn order, which is going to live in both of these, so I'm just going to grab that. New to my stash. I've just turned the light off in here because outside the sun's broke out and that grey mist has gone. Um, and so it was too bright in here. Now I'm not sure if it's too dull. I'm sure you get fed up of watching vloggers going on about lighting and there's me doing it. I put in a yarn order. As I said in one of my last vlogs, um, my grandma wanted some cotton yarn, which is hidden over on this bookshelf. And she was going to pay postage, so I bought £20 worth of yarn so that she wouldn't pay postage. So I'm either a really, really good granddaughter or I'm just yarn obsessed. I'm going for both. I am a yarn obsessed great granddaughter. I'm a yarn obsessed good granddaughter. Um, so I picked out colours that I want to make a scarf out of. Now this is graphite grey. It's quite... um like a slate grey that you'd see on houses over here. And to go with that, I've gone fully pinky purple. I've got plum. So let's see those together. Look at that combination. And then I've got, this is grape. which is a lighter purple still, but going into the pink. Oh my goodness. And then, it didn't stop there, oh no. I got Pale Rose, which is a pink. Um, and this is very similar to the Summer Dusk Shawl pink, only that was a wild rose and it was slightly speckled. So when you put these together, oh no, she didn't. I love them. When I was ordering them, I was very much like, oh, oh, and I put in black rather than that, and then I added a brighter pink, but these were my original choices, and when they arrived, that's the thing about ordering online, 
you don't know what the colours are going to be like but luckily I've just found a local stockist to style craft so that's going to sort out that little conundrum. This lot is going to be a scarf and it's going to live um, between these two tubs until I get round to it which is going to be a while because I have enamoured the granny stripe, the granny square jumper and now just because to finish. Um, and I've deadlined so the just because needs to be finished within a couple of weeks and then I've deadlined enamoured for the end of the month so I really really want to start this but it's got to wait um, I just oh, I'm really pleased with the way the colours have worked out I've brought six balls of the slate of the graphite and then I've brought two colours of each of the pinks and the purples. So there's two wild rose, two plum and two grape. And as I said, I've got a scarf pattern in mind for that. So that bag of goodies. That has just been sat by my bedroom door for a few days just because it's giving me more life. Um, I'm just going to shove it in the pink tub right now and put this lot back so that we can go on to the next mm, go on to the next one which takes us on to tub number one, two, three, four, five, six tub number six is this one full of greens and greys and blues and again, it's massive, so it's going just here. This is all DK, my choice of poison. I've got lots of random one ball skeins, which is not surprising. That's Robin. Um, that's Stylecraft, I know that is. I have a thing for Stylecraft at the moment. Um, just because it comes in so many shades, so if you're making a project, the entire project can be out of the same yarn. Um, and purely because if I order, like I ordered the yarn that I've just shown you for the scarf, you can get loads of colours. Um, but I'm not prejudiced, I'll use any yarn. I love yarn. Then this is like a crazy neon green. Whoa, which the camera is just hating. You can see like, it's neon. Um, I have used that in a project, an accent. This is all the DK tweed that I want to make like a denim shirt or a blazer type pattern out of. But my skills aren't quite there yet, so I'm saving this and working my way up to it. Um, in here lives the owl that one of my um, ex's mums made for me when I graduated. And although we're not together, I still appreciate all of the work that she put into him. And so he lives in with my yarn now, because he is yarn himself. He's got his little owl scroll. Um, and I don't know about you, but I cherish handmade items. And although those people are in my life, I couldn't get rid of this. To spend that much time on something, that's going to be kept. Um, then I've got more Starcraft Baby Blue which was for a blanket that I made, um, as is the grey that's left over. This is all from blankets that I was commissioned to make. There's a lot of this grey double knitting, which I got from the pound shop when it went into administration. And I'm using this for the granny stripe. I'm using it for a couple of other projects you haven't seen yet. I did buy like, 20 balls of it so um, and then there's just lots of skeins of random colours um, I like to have a really well stocked choice glitter because sometimes you're making a project and you know that you need a certain shade so one thing that I am short on which I've started to really notice is new is actual earthy tones so this you would find in nature you wouldn't well that could be the midnight starry sky but you're not going to find that in nature so i want to stock up on more nature tones 
So next time I go somewhere that's got a lot of yarn, mm, okay, that's a lie. I've got Yarndale coming up. I'm going to get all of the things that are probably pink and glittery and sparkly. But at some point I'm going to hit up my local yarn shop and get some more earthy tones. Um, I've shown you the neon. We've got lots of mint. We've got lots of blues. We have got another green that could kind of be found in nature. We've got... Are they the same? Slightly different. And more grey all the way at the bottom. So, oh, you haven't seen these. These are like whirls that I brought. They're unbranded, um, cheaper ones. Because they were all the craze, I brought a couple. One was a giveaway. That one sat there and got mashed up. And I don't know what I'm going to make out of it because I'm not entirely sure that I would wear that colour. And I'm all about the garments. Um, unless it's made into a baby blanket. Don't even know how much it weighs, but I'm going to go with 200 grams. Let me see. Yeah, 200 grams. So that needs to be used up. Um, this tub isn't really missing any shades because it, I don't dip into that as much. My poison colour is pink, so this sort of blue is my favourite actual colour that I'm drawn to but at the moment you all know pink is taking over um, so that could do with being stocked up because I can see gaps in there so that needs more neutral colours it's also got the tweedy denim in there but yep yeah, there's definitely room definitely room so I might just add to that tub tub number seven which I've stacked up there, probably wasn't wise, Ooh. is, let's see if we can get this out of the way, this is all of my Aran, no, this is part of my Aran, so it's got another ball of this that I made, the boho cardi, my oversized sweater, I've got another 400 grams, so I can make something else, um, this is a burgundy from Audi, I've got 800 grams of that, there's some sat on the table because I wanted to make a project out of it, I swatched and didn't get any further, chunky, um, I've got just under 400 grams of this yep um, abandoned project that I started making out of the burgundy it's got my Christmas wreath stitch marker on which I'm not far off being able to use again that came with my Christmas subscription box um, for last year chunky neutral yarn um, chunky scraps that were gifted to me then I've got chunky from the pound shop in grey um, more of this tweed Aran to make up like the two kilo that I've got stashed that was ridiculous um, and in here I bought this years ago I've got Debbie Bliss Como in this navy and that's more like a super chunky um, I got that entire lot for like £5 when it should be like £5 a ball but I do not know what to do with it I've got one two three so that's 150 200 250 300 350 grams of super chunky Debbie Bliss Como, which is 90% merino and 10% cashmere. I don't know what to do with that. That is like above and beyond luxury to me. And it's super yarn that I want to make something precious out of. 
so it sat there for years more marble which you can tell is just being pulled apart chunky marble that's quite denim-y I wonder if I could mix that with the denim tweed hmm my brain is working overtime that is a marble chunky purple Uh, chunky scraps, tweedy. So yes, this tub is growing in size. Um, I'd never used to be drawn to Aaron or Chunky. I am amassing more and more. It is great for jumpers and garments um, and scarves. So I did just buy my scarf in DK. So what do you think guys? That's my stash in tubs. There's more. Want to see more? <laughs> okay, let me just tidy up just a little bit and put some of this back. Two seconds. I am just going through all of my project bags because I'm starting to put yarn away from abandoned whips or whips that I've swatched and I'm not yet ready to start. So I've got more paint box yarns um, here, which I brought for a blanket that I was commissioned and that is going to be part of a jumper with all of these colours. I think I've shown you the swatch before. Um, I want to make a granny stripe jumper and I found somebody else's pattern and I was following it but my patterns sort of took over and I want to get them out there for you. So at the moment I'm just working solely on my own patterns as opposed to following anybody else's. Um, yeah loving it and then i think to myself right i'm just going to take a break and make someone else's pattern and then all this inspiration hits as i'm swatching i'm thinking oh but i want to do this for myself and that's what happens um as for more yarn i've got this bag here just a carrier bag that my grandmother got for me so i've got about 400 grams of this she picked this up from a car boot Darcy, you're making the camera wobble. And it is 100%, well, 80% wool or something, but it's got this bobbly effect. Can you see? And so it looks like toweling. It looks like it should be a bathrobe or something. And it's in this blue. And I've got a whole bag of it here. Um, I haven't weighed it but I think there's like 300 to 400 grams in there um, and she said she didn't know what to do with it and so she's given it to me to make a project but inspiration hasn't hit other than it should be something I take off after I bathe but guessing it dry would be a pain in the butt um, so I need to look into projects that I can use that with my other thought was to hold that double or triple or whatever like um, Lindsay does from Lottie and Albert so that I can make a really colourful giant chunky blanket out of it and that would give it a lot of texture. Why well, don't need more blankets? Unless I give it away. So that needs working with. And then in here is the Hessen Mustard Gold um, yarn that I now own 800 grams to make my 10 pence jumper which you haven't seen in a while but I've got almost a whole back panel so that yarn is milling around hopefully I'm going to be using it up so I haven't been putting it away um, but maybe I should cram it away then, as for more yarn, the granny stripes living in this, and um, while it does, um, I've got the, the colours that I was using to make the scrap yarn cake, because I'm, at the moment, I'm working on sleeves, and I don't want to show you, because that's part of another video, don't want to spoil it all, but as you've seen the back panel, all of the colours that are in here, and that is the candy floss 
style, candy floss style craft pink that I was used to, supposed to finish just because with it's in here. But um, all of the colours in there are in this bag because I'm working on sleeves and I, um, with the way the pattern is, I just want snippets of each colour. Um, and so rather than make up another scrap yarn cake, I've been carrying all of the colours around. I know. Um, but there's yellows, there's greys and there's pinks and there's a bit of blue. So they'll go back into there. And I'm so very nearly done. There's a, a half a sleeve. I'm past, just past, or just finishing the elbow on one sleeve. And then I've got the other sleeve to do. And that whole thing can be sewn up. I do need to put the border back on the back piece. That's so close to being finished. All of that will go away. And then in this bag, which is from Wilkinson's and it's got this knitting pattern on, um, is enamoured, that you've seen before. And again on that one, I just need two sleeves. But in here is all of the yarn that I used in the back panel. All of that yarn is in there, so all of those colours, and that is a lot of colours. I just ride them round in here with me, and the reason I'm riding around on that one is because it wasn't a scrap yarn cake, I was actually using the colours. So, I mean, those two projects alone, that's quite a lot of yarn, but quite a bit of it's destined to go back into stash. i just try and push that down so I can put more in. Um, more yarn I've got stashed in project bags. I feel like I'm showing you all my dirty secrets. This is one of them. So I've got, these can come out right now and go into tubs. Ow, my elbow. So I've got, that's a swatch. Go on my swatch board. This Finding Nemo bag. Uh, is a home to all these granny squares. This entire thing, entire thing is granny squares. And they were part of a blanket that I took apart. I don't need more blankets. I was gonna make part of them into a blanket, but I've since changed my mind. Some of them became um, my granny square jumper and some of them are going to become another version as I want to test it before I send it out to testers. Um, and then the rest of them, you're going to start seeing popping up in my vlogs because I've got some crazy cool ideas for them. So I'd say a good third of them I accounted for um, and I'll probably just have to use the crazy cool idea on the rest of them just to get them used and out there. Um, and there's some really nice colours. Uh, so there's another, that's another stash. And then I've just got one more stash that I'm going to show you. I'm going to ignore one entire bag like it doesn't exist. Because it's not in this room. Okay, I'm going to grab the last bag. The last bag that I'm going to admit to lives here under the window still at the moment. Uh, okay, it's time to open it. Yep, more yarn. This elephant bag was a gift a few Christmases ago and I used to use it to cram all the projects I was working in to go to some of my crochet meetups I could show everyone and then it fast became an actual storage thing instead. So, I mean, this is DK black and red. I could probably get that combined into that one there. So we'll give that a go. Um, then I've got some squares that I made up that I was gonna crochet around, but I'm not that keen on the print. And I don't need another blanket, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, this is all the yarn to finish my blanket distraction any of you that have watched my blanket vlog blanket stack vlog that's everything in there to finish it off get it squared up all the edges 
squared up, rectangled, whatever, straight, I'm finished. I probably should do that this winter though, I've got that much on that I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I know my auntie would really, really like that blanket as well. Maybe I can commit to a couple of squares a day. I find that if I break stuff down that I want to do into everyday actions, is much more likely to come about. So maybe I need to incorporate adding in a couple of squares or sewing in a couple of ends, or I can assign that blanket to a particular meetup and keep taking it every time and work on solely on that. That's another way to get a lot done. Um, like I went to a meetup on Thursday and I took um, the granny stripe enamored and I knew that I was just gonna crack on with the front pieces and I basically got the two finished whilst I was there and after I'd got home. So maybe I need to do that. Um, what else is in here? Well, this isn't yarn, that's beads. That needs to go in my sewing bag. Um, I've got this project bag, which is my calf kids do knitting bag which I just don't really use and I might gift or try and sell um, it's not really my style I don't use straight needles I don't need the length and it doesn't get used um, this is a cushion that I made for when I lived at number 67 it needs a repair it needs a there we go just there the pom pom fell off. This is the mint green that I was talking about, and it doesn't go with my colour scheme in any way, and so it's just living in there. But I put a lot into that, so I don't want to get rid of it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. But I was so excited to move into my first place that that was my blank, my cushion to celebrate. Then there is a ton of bunting that I've made my own pattern and everything um, maybe I should hang that up in my room uh, this is the first cushion cover I made mm, it's not the first but me and my mother went to a course and made that so that's living in this yarn bag um, this is a huge crochet sock that I was working on does it fit? yeah this was my own pattern. The only thing I wasn't happy with was the toe because it looks like an elf toe. But that was my first crochet sock pattern I made myself, um, which were designed for wearing around the house. That makes my feet look huge. I don't have big feet. Don't know if anybody's interested in that pattern. That needs to go on my swatch board. Now there is project bags in here. Mm. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I forgot about these. These are HDDC scrap um, grannies that I've made. And this pattern, I forgot about these. This pattern I made myself for the for a blanket that I commissioned, the centres were um, blue and purple and the outside was grey and then I've obviously started making more to put together and then I've just abandoned them. Now what's this attached to? This ball. Ah. Okay, well I definitely think that needs to become something and I have got just the project in mind so that needs to go into a project bag and come out of the abandoned bag. If only I'd have found them when I did the HDDC scrap ball one but no bother. They're going to become a great project. So in here are scrap yarn balls. And this is pre the days when I learnt magic knotting, so I, I just literally knotted these together. But that's fine because as I go through and I get to those knots, I can snip them out and magic knot it. 
Um, so that entire bag has got one, two, three, four, five, probably about 600 grams or more of scrap yarn balls in there. That's going to live in a tub. A brand new project. Um, made all of these black and yellow squares and I started making a project out of them which I no longer needed and I didn't want to throw all the work away so it's all sat in here I'm not sure how I could repurpose that but that needs using up all that work just ignored this is the bag that I was dreading getting out. In here is more scrap yarn. This is literally yarn bath central. So my dad went through a lot of it and has made it into little balls like that. So I think the majority of this bag was actually sorted. But everything underneath, oh gosh, all of this is swatches that need ripping back, um, abandoned projects, <laughs> abandoned projects, um, pom poms, swatches, that is all yarn bath that needs to be broken down and made into HGDC scrap ball challenge projects. Um, and then We've got a bag of pom-poms that were never used and they hurt my hands to make them. They're all squished. So, and another project bag, which did used to be full of yarn, so I have re, I was gonna say cut down, but I've just moved it. I'm really pleased with those. Okay. So that is Flash My Stash. Um, I know that I was asked to do this when I got to, I think I was like 100 subscribers. I did a question and answer and I was asked to do this and I said I would. So here it is. I'm so sorry for how long it took, but that means you've got to see even more stash because I have so much more now. Um, I, in terms of favorite yarn, as I've said, DK, I'm really drawn to Stylecraft just because of the quality, but I'm happy to try so many other brands. Um, so I'm still really learning and still really exploring all the different yarn out of there out there at the moment. Um, I buy, I used to buy yarn just because um, I liked the colour, which is why I've got so many random one skeins. But now I'm a bit more um, mindful when purchasing, and I get enough for sweater quantities. Doesn't mean that I know what I'm going to make with it, but it means there's a bit more in there. Um, but at, because of my one skein habit, projects like this have been born. Um, I'm really pleased with these. They have got to become a project. I need to at least release the square to you. I think that might become a freebie, um, which I will put on Patreon first for 30 days and then the rest of you can get hold of that for free. Um, yeah. I think my yarn tastes have definitely changed since I first started buying. I used to buy a lot from the only places I knew existed really like John Lewis and the pound shops. Um, but as I have really explored, like really embraced my yarny side of life and found other stockists, there's the local um, yarn shops that I love supporting and love going to and they have all different ranges and then there's places like the range boys that all have their own um line or if not they stock other yarn and then buying online which is something i never used to do and also going to yarn festivals and i've got my second one coming up soon um but i am very much i would like to use up everything i've got although some of this yarn is not what i choose to buy anymore it still has a purpose is why HDDC scrap ball challenge was made um, but going forward you're going to see a lot more of this in my stash not completely because 
I'm a budget girl and acrylic also has its own uses but this stuff does set my soul on fire a little bit so thank you for watching I'm gonna put this room back together and get some breakfast and get this edited for you all and also take my braids out I want to crochet instead I've got to spend like six hours taking this out I'm gonna put this tower back together as well and empty part of this bag now into the stacks um which should be great because i'll get more floor space back thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon happy making can we just appreciate the post recording carnage that is my lounge my studio oh gosh give me mercy and Darcy wants to help. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. Oh, no. Being blanked by my dog. Want to help? Look at the way he just walks over it. Get off! Move. Oh, God. See, this is why those there cannot me into a blanket. Because Darcy's butt sits on what he wants. Okay, guys. We gotta tidy up.